Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss about the integral of the form a sin x plus b cos x by c sin x plus d cos x. So we have sin and cos term both in the numerator and denominator with the different coefficients. Let's see the procedure how to solve it. As a first step, we have to take the numerator and that should be written as capital A into differentiation of the denominator plus capital B into denominator. This is the form we follow. So by doing so, in the first step we get numerator which is A sin x plus B cos x plus A in, sorry, equal to A into differentiation of the denominator is C cos x minus D sin x plus b into denominator which is c sin x plus d cos x. Now in the step 2 we have to find the constant a and b. So find a and b that we do by equating the coefficient of sin x and cos x on both the sides and solving the equation. After finding a and b in step 3 the entire numerator is replaced with this term. So integral a into c cos x minus d sin x because the numerator is a sin x plus b cos x that is nothing but a into c cos x minus d sin x plus b into c sin x plus d cos x. So we have replaced the entire numerator by this term and denominator as it is that is c sin x plus d cos x. c sin x plus d cos x dx. Now we are going to divide individually as a step 4. So this will be integral a into there will be one c here because this is c cos x minus d sin x. So a into c cos x minus d sin x by denominator c sin x plus d cos x dx is the first part and in the second part it is b into c sin x plus d cos x whole divided by once again c sin x plus d cos x dx. So here we can cancel these two terms. Now we have to take this as i1 and i2 and in i1 we will take substitution the denominator is t that is c sin x plus d cos x. So its differentiation dt is c cos x minus d sin x dx. So it will become a into dt by t that is nothing but log t. So it will become a into log t and we have to write an integration constant and we have to replace the t which is c sin x plus d cos x. But in the second part i2 it is only the constant b is remaining. So when b is taken out it is integral dx. So the answer is bx plus constant c2. Now combining both so i will be i1 plus i2. So here it is a into log mod c sin x plus d cos x plus b into x and c1 and c2 together is constant c. Now let's solve a problem based on this. We have the question integral 4 sin x plus 5 cos x by 5 sin x plus 4 cos x. So let's take the numerator which is 4 sin x plus 5 cos x equal to capital A into differentiation of the denominator is 5 cos x minus 4 sin x plus b into denominator which is 5 
sin x plus 4 cos x. Now we have to compare coefficient of sin x and cos x on both the sides. Now we are going to compare the coefficient of sin x. So here we have 4 and here we have minus 4a and another sign term is phi sin x so plus phi b this is the first equation in the same way when we compare the cos coefficient we have phi on the other side and here it is cos so phi a and here it is 4 cos so plus 4 b is the second equation now we have to make same coefficients so that we can cancel so i am going to make this as the same coefficient so I'm going to multiply the first equation into phi and second equation into 4. So the first equation when we put into phi, this will become minus 20a plus 25b equal to this 4 into phi 20. Second equation into 4 will give 20a plus 16b equal to this is 4. So, 20. We are going to add both. While adding, minus 2 day plus 2 day will get cancelled. And this is 41b equal to 40. From this, the value of b is 40 by 41. Let's substitute this in the first equation or second equation. Let's take the second equation. So, 5a plus 4b, b is 40 by 41, which is equal to 5. Now from this, we can find the value of a. So 5a equal to 5 minus, this term I take to the other side, after multiplying 160 by 41. Now, we have to take LCM, which is 41. So 5 ones are 5, 5 fours are 20 minus 160 and we have 5a. After subtraction, we get 45 by 41. Now, a will be, this 5, I will take to the other side as 1 by 5. So, after cancelling this, it is 9 times. So, we get the value of a as 9 by 41. So, we got the value of a and b. So, this is b, 40 by 41. This is 9 by 41. Now, the numerator, we have to replace a and b value along with this expression. Instead of 4 sin x plus 5 cos x, I am going to write this expression with a and b value. So, a value into 5 cos x minus 4 sin x. So, 9 by 41 into 5 cos x minus 4 sin x. So, we copied the first term 5 cos x minus 4 sin x plus b into 5 sin x plus 4 cos x. b is plus 40 by 41. into which is phi sin x plus 4 cos x. So phi sin x plus 4 cos x. Now whole divided by denominator itself phi sin x plus 4 cos x into dx. Now we are going to split this into two integral. So first part is 9 by 41 integral phi cos x minus 4 sin x whole divided by phi sin x plus 4 cos x dx and second term is 40 by 41 integral when I divide this everything gets cancelled. Now in the first part let us take the substitution t is equal to phi sin x plus 4 cos x and its differentiation dt is phi cos x minus 4 sin x dx. So this is 9 by 41 integral dt by t and second term is 40 by 41 into x and we have an integration constant c. So the first term is nothing but 9 by 41 log mod t plus 40 by 41 into x plus c. Now 9 by 
41 log mod 40 we have to substitute 5 sin x plus 4 cos x 5 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 40 by 41 x plus c 